Glutamine is the most important amino acid that you can take in every day, all your life. It has a couple of incredible benefits and nobody talks about it. Everything you need to know about L-glutamine we talk now in this video. Amino acids can exist on their own or they can join together to form protein strands. Why should you care? Well, L-glutamine is the most common amino acid found in your muscles. Over 61% of skeletal muscle is made of L-glutamine. That 60% figure is something you will see in basically every bodybuilding article along with the same recycled list of benefits, but almost never any explanation of actually why it works. For this video, I want to take it deeper too and what I found ended up being pretty incredible. So not only your muscles are made of glutamine, but glutamine also circulates in the body, in the blood, and there are several types of cells in the body which rely on the same glutamine as their unique energy source. Glutamine is the preferred respiratory fuel for lymphocytes, hepatocytes, and intestinal mucosal cells. It also plays a big role in transporting nitrogen throughout the body. So not only in your muscle largely composed of L-glutamine, but other cells, essential cells in the body also rely on it in order to create energy so that they can function properly. It took special note that the lymphocytes, which are crucial to the immune system, need glutamine for fuel. L-glutamine is also used by our brains to create neurotransmitters, glutamic acid, and gamma amino butyric acid. Now, glutamine is what many in the medical community call a non-essential amino acid. The term non-essential doesn't mean you don't need it to. When an amino acid is non-essential, it means that it isn't essential to include it in your diet since the body has a mechanism to create it. The body has two ways of meeting its glutamine need. Some of its needs are met by the intake of glutamine containing foods. Most proteins contain glutamine as one of their building blocks. In the small intestine, these proteins are broken down and the glutamine is absorbed into the bloodstream. Additionally, the body contains an enzyme called glutamine synthetase. This enzyme is present in skeletal muscle, the brain, kidneys, and liver. Glutamine synthetase catalyzes the condensation of glutamate and ammonia to form L-glutamine. This process of L-glutamine creation within the body is why it can be classified as non-essential. Under normal conditions, this production process is able to supply the body with all the glutamine it needs. Cells that depend on glutamine for energy get enough. There is plenty circulating in the blood and the muscles are full of it. But what happens when the body increases the number of cells which use L-glutamine for energy? For example, producing more of those white blood cells when you are sick. In this kind of times, the body's demand for L-glutamine outpaces the supply. This is why a paper I found published in the Journal of Nutrition argues that L-glutamine should be reclassified as conditionally essential, meaning there will be times where it is essential to get it in your diet because in these times, the body's demand is outstripping its supply. Supplementing it in these cases have proven to be beneficial. So what are some times where the demand for glutamine outpaces the body's ability to create it? Well, during time of severe stress, the body becomes determined to answer that the glutamine energy dependent cells, including those immune cells we talked about, have all the energy they need. The body begins depleting its glutamine stores, which means, bingo, the body will destroy muscles to access this glutamine. This is called catabolism and can be brought on by everything from a severe injury to illness to being in a state of starvation, what means aggressive dieting. Supplementing glutamine has been shown to reduce the loss of muscles in patients or in these stated types of stress. Now, normally they look at severe stress. They look at things like severe injuries, burns, and those who have just had surgery. But there is evidence that suggests that even the effects of an intense workout can lower the body's glutamine levels. Studies confirm this demonstrating levels of blood glutamine 
following an intense workout are reduced. So what happens if you supplement? Well, other studies have found that after strenuous exercise, athletes supplementing L-glutamines had a reduced instance of infection because remember, L-glutamine is both with the body used to fuel the immune system and a major component of repairing muscle. If supplies become stretched too thin, so simply won't be operating at peak capacity. So my personal verdict, if you train hard, approaching a threshold of overtraining, you put significant stress on your body. Based on the studies, glutamine will be beneficial to bolster your immune system and to reduce the likelihood of your body going catabolic if it is deficient. This also explains why glutamine supplementation is often used by people who are cutting down and eating at a caloric deficit to help reduce the likelihood of the body turning to muscle as a source of glutamine. Hope this video helps you make a more informed decision. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.